Welcome to PSI. My name is Phyllis Frey-Charette, and we're joined again with Allstate Business Insurance, and we're (laughs) post-seminar. Did you guys have a great time? It was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Wonderful to be a part of it. Yeah, and we're glad that you're playing with us and your involvement, because I know that the students enjoy getting information about what's down the line mm-hmm. for one and what they need to do to be successful in their practice so they don't have to worry about all those details. That's what you guys do with all state business insurance. Correct. And so the question that I want to ask is what were the most common questions that you got when people visited your booth during Dallas seminars? So I don't know if it was the most common question, but the most uh, awareness arising question was probably the employment practice liability piece of it. Mm-hmm. Um, because, you know, as these folks are going into practice, they're aware of the basics, you know, the, the, the lease requires insurance and things like that. But then we start talking to them about some of the extra coverages they need. And EPLI is just, just a huge one. It's, it's such a minor expense and it covers the unforeseen because you just never know what um, someone can bring up that is, is is a false accusation or, you know, it could be an accurate accusation, but that's what employment practices liability coverage is for, is for any kind of accusation that could be made uh, again, against a business owner for owning that practice by a, by a staff wrongful or former, yeah, for wrongful yeah. termination or anything like that. So, yeah, get real specific with the unforeseen things, as so, you say. So what would be a few of those? So that's almost hard to say because I will tell you this, 75% of all accusations are unfounded. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the unforeseen, it's called the unforeseen for a reason when 75% of the accusations are unfounded. So it can be anything from some type of harassment situation to a hostile work environment to a to a tough work environment. Stealing uh, money. Well, it That's was, a little it's, more proven. But. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it would be more, um, and I think in speaking with the students and, and some of the doctors, when we talked about this and it was on our checklist, it was, um, <clears throat> there were several states that are right to work states. So I think the feeling is, you can hire and fire at will. And unfortunately, when it comes to the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, that is not so much the case. So in smaller businesses, like Jeff said, 75% are unfounded, but when it comes to wrongful termination, 40% are filed against a small business. Most small businesses don't have an HR department. They don't have someone to say, hey, here is your handbook that outlines exactly what the rules of the practice are in terms of attendance or um, any kind of absences. And so it's unfortunately very easy for people to bring a wrongful termination case, whether it is age discrimination, whether it is um, age, race, gender, any of those things can be brought upon someone. And like Jeff said, 75% are unfounded, but it still costs a business owner lawyer fees to go to court and and do all of those things and, and, and time that's where, and yes. time and energy and, 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 and that's I where did, this comes in and i deal with this on my end if this is any small business owner this is not chiropractic specific although we're, we're here for chiropractors um but this is any type of industry any type of business that face it i i have to do it and it's such a small coverage and it's one of those things where you're sitting there going well i don't know if i can afford this i, I can afford that and for 70 dollars, which is pretty much what this coverage cost you can't afford not to have it and and that's the one thing i always stress to customers when they're looking at insurance is it a matter of what you can afford or is it a matter of what you can't afford because a seventy dollars is a problem a hundred thousand is a big problem absolutely and when i was consulting um with chiropractic offices i was always a stickler about that Mm -hmm. office policy manual because that's what guides the protocols of of, of how right. an employee needs to you know act and be and do and a lot of times all those problems that they had with their employees stemmed from not having exactly. that manual to and, go okay mm-hmm. you're hired and here's your checklist of the things and and I know too confidentiality and patient records and you know all that stuff is so critical now mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and so what this practice or what this coverage provides is it does provide a 24-hour legal line in, in case something comes up and it does provide an employee handbook ah. so it's, it's not just hey I have the coverage great we are also providing okay here are the tools in order to put this this coverage into action to make sure that 
it, you are covered. And I think that was probably one of the biggest ones where, you know, it's like, yes, you're in Texas, yes, you're in Oregon, yes, you're in, in at will state, but that doesn't mean a suit can't be brought against you. And that's where this comes in. And the, co- and the coverage is coupled together. So it kind of goes to your point where protecting customer information, you know, so you, you let someone go because they didn't protect customer information properly. There may not have been a written procedure on how to protect customer information properly, but then we fall into cyber coverage. So they all couple together, and that's what's the good. That's the good thing about us getting a chance to meet, visit mm-hmm. with uh, everyone at the seminars. It's because we can show you how the the coverages couple together. It, they seem like different coverages, but in a lot of ways, they're they're one. It's yeah, just protecting your entire business. To, yeah, they, so they snowball into the other. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, and that's what the checklist did at the seminar. It yeah. was a, a checklist of going. As a practice, these are some of the things that happen to you every single day, but it may not be a part of your policy. So as we were discussing that with a lot of people, they go, oh, I didn't think about that. I don't know if my policy has that. And so it gave us a chance to go, well, that's what what we're here for. We want to make sure we sit down with you and say, how many employees do you have? You know, let's talk about the what if scenario, whatever it may be. And and I know we don't always want to think doom and gloom, Absolutely. like you got to have all this major coverage because, you know, you're going to, someone's going to do you wrong, but at the same time, you know, it is a small business yeah. and you have only a certain amount of resources and revenue, but in the long term, this eventually is going to protect your assets yeah. for a small nominal fee absolutely For, and, and that's why we call, call it the business shield policy one it sounds cool you sound like superhero man when you <laughs> offer a business shield but two it's it, it's a total shield of your business not just one segment of it yeah and um when we created office policies and procedures or an employee manual most of the time that manual got per, uh excuse me got created because there was an yeah. issue Absolutely. to begin with. Mm-hmm. So, you know, our, our, profession, our profession is proactive, but we tend to do things reactively in our office. Yeah, Without and, a doubt. yeah. and that's where, you know, we really want to come in and, and say, no, we don't want this to be a doom and gloom conversation. We just want to make sure you're aware that these things do happen. And we have had claims in this scenario and that scenario and this is why we're suggesting this coverage and not everybody is the same some people may need more coverage than others and that's why there's different limits that's why there's a conversation needed and that's why it's not like just go online and try to find your policy no it's your business you have a lot on the line this this coverage avoids avoids the doom and gloom yeah Right. Yeah, because <laughs> it, it is doom and gloom yeah, when you is. got, you know, yeah, so this avoids situation the doom and gloom. like that. Absolutely. Well, I, I think that's great. And um, I'm sure that if people missed talking to you um, at our seminar, that there will be information provided on this podcast where they can still do the checklist and the one on one consultation um, with you guys complimentary. Is that correct? Yes. That, that is correct. And we'll try to maintain as, as every pre- uh, every presence we can uh, to, with you guys. And, um, you know, our information was provided. Um, we got a lot of the attendees information. Um, but if anyone missed us, you know, I know y- y'all are posting our information up on your site and everything. So, yeah, we would be glad to have a one on one with anyone anytime. OK, great. As always, thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And as always, let your faith, confidence and belief in your products, services and ideas for your practice to be as successful as necessary. Thank you and have a great day.